Hey, what's going on guys? Um, I wanted to share a quick black business tip with you about establishing trust and goodwill with your customers. Um, <clears throat> I'll give you two examples, one good, one bad. We have a guy that cuts our grass and uh, Alicia writes the check to pay the guy. It's not a whole lot of money. Um, and, uh, but, but, you know, one day she forgot to leave the check. And so the guy, uh, he rang the doorbell, we weren't home and he went on. Then he came back, uh, you know, a couple, two, three weeks later, he cut the grass again. On this day, we weren't home at all. So, you know, he didn't get his money. So we owed him for two, two grass cuttings, right? It was, it wasn't until the third time that he came and cut the grass. And, and, and honestly, it had, you know, because the seasons had changed, it had literally been maybe three months. And so we had a tab, you know, where we had forgot to pay him the, for the first time, second time we weren't around. And then he cut the third time. And I said, okay, let's make sure we pay him. Let's make sure we pay him. And I think if I'm not mistaken, even the third time, <laughs> Alicia wasn't around or forgot or whatever. And I said, this guy ain't gonna cut our grass no more. What's going on? And what was really interesting was that he never said a word. You know, he just kept cutting, he kept coming to cut our grass. And I think it was on the fourth time when he came to cut the grass that Alicia finally caught him and Alicia gave him all the money that we owed and everything else. So it was fine, right? Now, let me get, so here's another thing. Uh, there was a lot of goodwill established where I said, okay, this is cool. You know, he really trusts us. He didn't freak out. He didn't go crazy. He knew we were good for it. He knew where we lived. And he got his money and he's going to get more money from us because we're going to, now that he, we've established this goodwill, we're going to keep on working with him. Let me contrast this with another person we worked with. It was actually a babysitter. We paid her, uh, like, I think once every couple of weeks. And it was like, usually I paid like Friday at five. So one Friday, I was traveling across the country to California for something I had to do. Alicia was going to New York. So we were both traveling at the same time. And so both of us just forgot to pay her at five o'clock on Friday. It got to be about nine and she sends the nastiest text message you've ever seen. I don't know who the hell you think you are and what's wrong with you. This is incredibly unprofessional. What this is ridiculous, blah, 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 blah. And I read the text. I'm like, what the hell is this? I mean, if we had paid her many, many times, she'd made thousands of dollars from us. And I said, okay, she must not need no money because I said, okay, you know, it's, so I, I, I was going to respond. I said, you know, I'm not going to respond. I'm going to just let Alicia handle it. But here's what I said to her. I said, pay her her money and then tell her that we don't need her anymore. Because what was basically going to happen is that she was going to win the battle, but lose the war. Because, you know, my rule is I'm not, I'm not going to give my money to somebody who's disrespectful like that. I'm just not going to do it. So you contrast that with two, two people that came and worked with us, both of whom have made a lot of money from us. One person uh, worked in a, in, a, in a way that uh, was built on conflict resolution, built on trust, uh, built on establishing a relationship, built on playing the long game. That person is going to make thousands of dollars from us over the course of time. The other person didn't build a relationship at all, uh, was incredibly insulting, horrifically disrespectful, and just pissed us off to the point where, oh, you're going to get your money. In fact, I'll give you extra. But then you're going to lose your job. So you win, you're going to win the battle big time. But you're going to lose the war because you never get a penny out of me ever again. Not, not, not with that kind of behavior. That's not cool. Because here's the thing, people make mistakes, people forget things. Sometimes accounting systems get flipped on their heads or whatever. But I would just tell you that whether you're doing business or you're dealing with a client or or you are somebody else's client or whatever the case may be, you know, I think patience is and not making crazy assumptions is an important way to do business. Um, you know, because I've seen people, I've seen it where you know, somebody gets triggered and they start acting a damn fool and cussing people out and yelling and screaming and hollering. And then next thing you know, they, they, their opportunity just magically disappears. And that's because somebody in their mind has said, OK, I'm going to give you what you want. But to avoid the drama after I give you what you want, I'm gone. I'm out for good. So you can't do this. You know, when you do business with other people, you can't get to where you always trying to cut somebody out, trying to go off on somebody. 
Uh, a lot of times if you pick up the phone and call them, a lot of times it's a misunderstanding. A lot of times it might be a matter of sometimes having to be patient. There have been times where I had a relationship and things didn't happen the way I wanted them to and I'd be boiling mad, but you know, I'd be like, okay, you know what? Let me wait it out. Let me just give it a couple more weeks. Maybe he's going through a rough time. Maybe something's keeping that person busy. Maybe something's going on. Maybe they just forgot. And you know what always happens most of the time is that everything is fine. Everything gets repaired and you protect and preserve that relationship. So that, that was my thought. And I just wanted to share that for anybody out here that's trying to do business. Um, you know, I, I have worked with a lot of people and I, I, Lord knows I paid a lot of people. Oh my goodness. I, I wish I get a headache thinking about how much money I paid out to black people over through the years. And I'm glad I did it. I don't regret any of it, but I will say that, you know, that the differences in behavior and attitude make all the difference in the world. So no matter whatever it is you do, you know, don't be an asshole. I think that's an important rule for all relationships in business, personal, everything else. Don't be an asshole. Figure a way to work it out. So that's my two cents. I'm going to go get my coffee. I hope that this helps somebody. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Don't forget, subscribe to the Black Financial Channel, uh, theblackfinancialchannel.com. That's our financial news platform. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.